Welcome back to Python Scripting for GIS Applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and it is spring semester 2013. In this session, I want to teach you about working with the map document object in the arcmap.mapping module framework. So basically, an arcmap object would be an MXD, and it could either be an MXD that's open or an MXD that's on your hard drive or memory stick. So I'll open this 3D MXD. And in ArcPy mapping, it's very object oriented. So for example, let's say that we wanted to change the name of this layer. What we would have to do is first get the MXD object. And then once we get the MXD object, we'd have to create a list of data frames and then get the appropriate data frame and then once we have the appropriate data frame make a list of layers and then pick the appropriate layer in order to change the layer name. So what I'm going to do in this session is teach you about working with this map document object and then in the next session we'll talk about how to work with data frames and then in the third section, we'll talk about how to work with layer objects. Okay, so we're going to create a variable. You could call it anything you want. I'm going to call it myMXD. And then it's simply arcpy.mapping. And then in this dot .mapping module, we'll have a function called map document. And that receives one argument, and that would either be the map document MXD file that's on your hard drive or on a memory stick or the one that's currently open. So if we want the one that's currently open, we could just use dot current. And then we're referring to, in this case, it's my map document that's currently open is called 3D.MXD. Okay, so once we have our map document object, we could assign a variety of descriptive properties to this map doc object. So one of the properties of a map doc object is the dot author property. So we could assign authorship and we could assign a dot title property and we could assign a description property. And we could assign a dot summary property a dot credits property, a dot tags property, and a dot hyperlink base property. So all of these properties now will be temporarily part of this 3D.mxd. So what we want to do next is once we've assigned these descriptive properties is we'll save that. So we'll save it. So either you could go save and it saves it to this 3D.mxd or you could go save a copy and make a brand new mxd file. So I'll just do the save. So now that will be permanently on the hard drive saved as part of the property of this 3D.mxd. And if we look at from the file menu, our map document properties, all those descriptive properties are now part of our MXD. So these are descriptive properties that we can set or we could also retrieve. So we could print my MXD dot author property. Okay, the other thing we can do with our ArcPy scripting is we can actually set MXD properties. So we've got our MXD object and then we could set, for example, relative paths. So that's either going to be true or false, so we'll set that to true. And then if we look at our MXD properties, so map document properties, what that does is it checks on store relative path names to data source. Either it's true or it's false. The other thing we can do is here we could click on make thumbnail, we could do that 
scripting wise so we could go my mxd dot make thumbnails so that will make a thumbnail that we would see in our catalog so that basically made a little thumbnail we could see in our catalog here's that mxd with its thumbnail and here would be an mxd that does not have a thumbnail okay you can also get date objects from your mxd so for example if i type in dot date we could get the date this mxd was printed the date saved the date it was exported so let's get the date it was last saved so this is actually a date object and since it's a date object, the type, for example, if we ask what's the type of this object, it's a date time object. So we can extract um, properties from this date time object. So for example, what was the date when this was saved? So we could go dot date. So it was saved 2013, April 24th. And we could print out, for example, dot what was the day? So it was the 24th, and we could print out the month property. So it was April, and we could print out the year property. So basically, if we have a map document object, all these date properties are true date objects. So you can use any function in the Python date time module to extract date time properties from any of these dates. Okay, so for our next video session, what I want you to do is write an ArcPy mapping script that will add your email as authorship for every MXD in a workspace. And I'll go over the solution to that ArcPy mapping script at the start of our next video session.